Now, there's a big breaking news that's coming in at the moment. India today has tracked down the seventh accused in the case Ankush. Ankush is the brother of accused Amit. Amit drove the Bellino that in fact hit Anjali and then dragged her body. Now, Ankush lives in Mangolpuri's X block. Ankush, his elder brother Amit and mother live on the second floor. At present, Amit is in the custody of Delhi police while Ankush is absconding. Ankush's neighbor told us that he knows Ankush and Amit for the last 10 years. Ankush is the elder brother, Amit is the younger one. Now the investigation has revealed that Amit was driving the car. So India today has reached the residence in Mangolpuri where the seventh accused Ankush in fact lived but he's currently of course on the run. The police are on the lookout for him. Akshay Dongre is joining me over the phone line. Akshay, give us more details about the seventh accused in this case, Ankush. Well, uh, the information that we are getting right now, uh, because uh, India Today aspect has reached uh, to the residence of, of uh, these people who are accused uh, in this case. Uh, Ankush uh, and Amit live with their mother uh, in, in, uh, the, uh, in the Mangolpuri area of uh, X block. And uh, as of now, the information that is coming uh, right now, uh, and that is coming from the Delhi police as well, that uh, Amit, uh, one of the accused, is, is still absconding, is on the run as far as uh, this uh, case is concerned. Uh, the uh, neighbors of Ankush has told us that uh, for the past 10 years, Ankush uh, and Amit, uh, they, they, they have uh, been running the Grameen Seva, and, uh, and these, these people used to live together. Uh, Ankush is the elder brother, and Amit is the younger brother. Uh, and uh, and uh, when the incident took place, Amit was the person who was uh, driving the car. So the prime accused, the main accused in this entire case, is Amit. And uh, that uh, that is the that is the information that we are coming that we are getting for, for our viewers as far as the Punjabla uh, horrific uh, horrific uh, uh, hit and run case is concerned. Right. Akshay, stay on with us. Now, India Today accesses four CCTV clinchers in the Anjali murder case. We will tell you what happened two hours post-murder. At 4.07 on January 1st, the accused in the CCTV footage can be seen giving the car keys to Ashutosh. The visuals, in fact, show that the accused were probably explaining what happened earlier that night. After nine minutes, at 4.16 a.m., Ashutosh in the white t-shirt is with the accused. And around 4.40 a.m., Ashutosh can be seen in a grey jacket and at 4.52 a.m., Ashutosh returned home after parking the Bellino. Now, remember, Ashutosh is the owner of the Bellino car and has been arrested by the cops. Not just the fact that he owned the car, but he also plotted to mislead cops with fake information. It was his idea, allegedly, to falsely plant Deepak as driver as he had a driving license and Amit did not have a driving license. Meanwhile, another twist has come to the fore in the case. Sources have informed India today that the four accused were present in the car and not five. Apparently, accused Deepak, according to sources, wasn't even in the car when the accident happened. Now, the Delhi hit and drag case gets murkier. All five accused in the matter have been sent to four days police custody. They were taken for medical examination on Thursday. Now, as the police investigation into the matter intensifies, Nidhi's version of the incident is also under the scanner. With Anjali's family calling her death a well-thought-out conspiracy, her mother raised suspicion about Nidhi's involvement and revealed that her daughter never touched alcohol. Meanwhile, Nidhi's mother has refuted all the claims saying allegations against her daughter are false. My colleague Akshay Dongre is over the phone line with me right now. Akshay, clearly both families now exchanging charges and counter charges. But the fact is that the police are also looking deeply into what Nidhi has described as the sequence of events because not everything seems to tie up. Absolutely, as far as the sequence of events is concerned, uh, the, there are there are uh, claims that are being made from both sides. On one hand, we have uh, the eyewitness Nidhi. On the second hand, we have uh, the mother of of uh, 
victim uh, cured uh, in, in this entire case. Now, uh, while Nidhi has made allegations that, or rather, rather she has made a statement that uh, at the night of the accident, uh, uh, she and, and Anjali, they both went to a bar, uh, they, they consumed alcohol, and after that, when they were returning, this entire accident took place. However, Nidhi's mother has been raising suspicion over the statements that are coming from Nidhi, uh, stating that uh, Anjali's mother is raising suspicions here, stating that her daughter never touched alcohol, but all of this will be cleared only once the postmortem report is out, because the blood samples uh, have also been taken as far as this entire case is concerned, and that can only reveal that whether uh, <clears throat> Anjali had consumed alcohol or not. However, it is irrelevant to the case uh, in, in what, what exactly happened as far as uh, the night uh, the night of the accident is concerned. Uh, but, uh, but it remains to be seen that uh, what exactly is true, whether the allegations that have been made uh, by the family of Anjali, that this was a well thought out conspiracy, and uh, there should be there should be a uh, uh, an investigation in the part of Nidhi as well, or whether uh, the claims that are being made by Nidhi are true that uh, both of them uh, were, they, they in fact went to a hotel, they consumed uh, liquor, and then they were they, they, they went to a party, and then they were coming out uh, when the when the entire incident took place. But uh, the investigation is still going on. The postmortem uh, report has already been conducted. Uh, the postmortem has been conducted, and the report is awaiting. And we have to see that what exactly is there. Uh, as far as this entire uh, case is concerned, and this will only unfold after a thorough investigation because layer after layer more well, after a thorough investigation because layer after layer more and more details are coming up as far as this horrific case is concerned. Akshay, thank you so much for joining us with all of those details.